so welcome back to my channel I thought I would do a chatty get ready with me today so here I am gonna be chatting so I'm just gonna get straight into it I've done all my skincare and all that jazz I'm now just gonna go in with my Clinique super fine liner for brows in zero to soft brown eyebrow pencil I have been using recently it's just me fave so I'm literally just gonna start outlining my brows now I just follow my natural shape nothing too crazy and I really like this eyebrow pencil I was gonna get my fave my benefit precisely pencil but I thought I'd give this one a go now I don't do too much to my brows anyway because I get them tinted and waxed I literally just fill the sparse areas in so I asked you guys for some questions on Instagram I thought I would answer them in this video whilst doing my makeup I thought it was a perfect time to chatter chatter so the first question I got asked is what are your opinions on this year's Love Island? Now, let me tell you. I personally am enjoying this year's Love Island. I think they've got some good character in there. They've got people that have got character. Saying that, I don't think it's as good as some of the previous years. I feel like the contestants are very samey samey and we haven't got much variety in there. So I'm just gonna go in with my P. Louise base while I'm chatting about Love Island. Yeah, I don't think there's much variety this year. I feel like a lot of the contestants are very similar to what we've had in previous years. And I get that it all makes good TV and everything, but I do think that a lot of it is very staged. Much as I love Maura, Maura and Curtis. Personally, I don't see how that would work on the outside. Very different people and I just, like, it's not very believable. Tommy and Molly, call it now, are going to be the Love Island winners this year. I did want Amber and Michael to win. I was rooting for those, but we're not even going to talk about Michael. He is not a fave anymore. Definitely off the Christmas card list there. Um, I just think... The way he's gone about everything is childish. Um, and I just personally don't see how him and Joanna are better than him and Amber. And like, fair enough, if you've got a problem with Amber, tell her, but don't slag her off straight away to the first girl that walks in the door. Like, personally, I just feel like that's a bit snaky and childish and not what we expected off Michael since he preaches about he likes someone mature and doesn't like childish behaviour but what he's been shown as whether this is how it went or not what he's been shown as is childish so I mean don't preach it if you're not going to follow it as well personally I don't get that I don't like when people do that either so yeah but that's my thoughts on the series so far. I feel really sorry for Amy. I feel like that girl genuinely went in there looking for love and not fame. And she got heartbroken. And I mean, people are like, yeah, it's dramatic after four weeks of knowing someone. But if you spend every single second of every day for four weeks with someone, you're going to have an attachment and like feelings are going to develop quicker than if you was just to spend one day with them a week so yeah so for today's look i'm going to be going in with the morphe 39a palette and i'm just going to be going in with a bunch of these warm tones because you guys know me i love me a warm tone so i'm just gonna first go in with more of a transition color and i'm just gonna pack this onto the into the crease and blendy blendy so I'm just going to take any fluffy brush, pack this in and blend upwards with whatever's left on our brush. Now just take my little finger off the brush, it just has less pressure on the brush, therefore meaning that you get a softer blend. It can help when 
blend in with darker colours as well. Another question that I got asked from you guys was how is your mental health? Can we have a mental health update? So I thought I would just chat about it in this video. I was going to do a whole video but I just thought I'd chat about it here. So my mental health is doing good to some extent. I have upped my medication again. So I'm now on 150 milligrams of sertraline. I'm also on propanolol now to help with the physical side effects from it. Um, yeah, but overall I'm doing all right. So now I'm taking a deeper, darker, warm brown and just blending this into the crease. But yeah, I mean, there's still gonna be times that I struggle that's gonna happen with anybody with mental health issues everybody has times where they struggle more if something happens or just times of the year where they feel a little bit more delicate i definitely have experienced that it's definitely a thing but i mean it's all about how you deal with it and how you bring yourself up from that because everybody's gonna have downs and if you focus on the negatives all the time then you're never going to have any positives there. If you can push past the negatives to get to the positives, then you will find that life is a lot easier. So I'm just going to go back in with that lighter colour and just blendy blendy. So now I'm going to take a even deeper brown and again, just tap off the excess and focus this even further into the crease. So for today I'm literally just going for a classic smoky eye. It's a look that I feel like I love doing at the minute. I love doing a classic smoky eye using all nice warm tones. And I just gently build up my colour because you can add more but you can't take away. So it is better when blending to go in with less and gently add more as you go on. Then go in overload and just whack in loads in the crease and hoping for the best because that isn't how we get a nice blend and now the deeper colours are coming out I am trying to focus them more in a blend in quite a precise shape just because I don't want the darker colours to be really blown out and really like smoky the closer to the lash line the more precise I try and get Another question I got is what are your plans at the minute? So I am just working full time at Boots. I am absolutely loving it. I do feel like eventually I'd love to go on a counter because at the minute I'm doing a job called a Boots Beauty Specialist which is where I work for all the premium brands giving out advice and helping people find like the best products for them. Um, I do think eventually I'd love to go on a counter and be like set on one brand but for now I'm loving it. It's nice to have the freedom to be able to say actually that product might not work for you but let's try this one. Um, so that's really nice and just the feedback that we get off customers when we've helped them is just so lovely. So yeah. Um, that is what I'm doing at the minute. I am very happy doing this. Definitely feel like I've found what I want to do. I do miss working in the nursery with children. I do miss that. I absolutely loved working with children. So I do, like, I do miss that. But at the same time, life is full of surprises. And it might be one day I'd go back to that. But for now, I'm quite happy working in cosmetics. So I'm just blending some black into the mix. Because I love me a bit of blended black. It just makes it ultra dark, ultra sexy and smoky. So that is the top of the eye complete. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto my face. And then I'm going to come back to my eyes. Last of all, and decide what I want to do because right now I'm just not sure um so I'm gonna take some of the NARS sheer glow foundation in Mont Blanc Mont Blanc 
and I'm just gonna pop this all over my face. Oh, oh, I need to get a pump for this because I keep pouring out way too much and wasting it. So, yeah. I don't know why cosmetic brands ever think it's a good idea to do a foundation without a pump, but it's not. So, Nars, if you're watching, why'd you do this to me? And I'm literally just buffing this into the skin using the Real Techniques buffing brush. Now, I had never been a NARS person. I've never tried anything from NARS till I tried this foundation, but it's safe to say it's one of my new all-time favourite Holy Grail foundations. I will definitely be repurchasing this when it runs out. I look like a zombie, but it's definitely one of my new faves. I just feel like it goes on so nice. The coverage is beautiful. I'm making sure I get all my chins. So now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm just gonna go in with the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer in Linen. So for applicator, really nice full coverage concealer. And I like that it goes light enough to be a, like a concealer that I can highlight with. Also full coverage, so if I've got any blemishes, I can cover them. Which, to be honest, at the minute I've got a lot of. And I just pat this underneath my eyes. That I've got a nice, clean, highlighted under eye. So now I'm going to bake underneath my eye. So I'm just taking some of the Makeup Obsession pure baking powder and some of that underneath my eyes this just helps it to stop creasing and ensure that it lasts that bit longer fully sets it i also put a little bit in my t-zone this just helps me to not get as oily throughout the day so now i'm going to take some of the clinique chubby stick in contour curvy contour and i put this slightly higher than i want to contour Draw down my nose, never get that very straight. It's a good thing we can bake that. Do I look sexy? Honestly, I can see why Luke fancies me. And I'm just gonna blend this in with the edge of that buffing brush. This is just going to give the illusion that I've got these really good cheekbones when I have. We love being a catfish. But I'm jealous of anybody that naturally has good cheekbones because I'd love to not be able to not have to do this every morning. Just to have a nice face. I tend to make sure I definitely contour when I've got my hair up as I feel like it makes a huge difference to the appearance of my face. And making sure to do that jawline as well. And my skin just looks ultra contoured. I am just going to go down my nose and just bake around that contour just because that's a bit wonky. I'm now going to go in with bronzer, blush, highlight, my favourite part. So I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. This is my favourite thing ever. Like, I honestly love this. And I can't even open it. Look how beautiful this is. Is that my little baby? It's actually quite embarrassing that I love a palette this much. So I'm just going to go in with Sunny Honey, which is this one right here. And just take this on my number seven blusher brush. And this palette literally smells like chocolate. It's insane. If I ever brought out a makeup line, I'd want mine to smell like chocolate. So I'll tell you guys. I'm then just going to mix Sunny Honey and Tropic Like It's Hot. So these two contour shades. Tropic Like It's Hot is a bit deeper, a bit warmer, a bit more orange terracotta toned. But I actually quite like it. Just to really bronze up after. And I feel like, especially when I've got such warm tones on the eyes, my face can get away with it a bit more. I'm going to take a little bit down my neck. 
I'm then just going to bake under that contour just to sharpen things up a little. Basically, I've really got into baking recently. Never ever did it before, but the difference it actually makes to your makeup is huge. And I just bake the whole way underneath. Some people literally just do the bit under the contour, but I like to do the full, the full shebang. I'm then going to add some blusher. Again, favourite part, love a bit of blush. So I'm going to go in with pink wink and pink sand. Just mix them together on the brush and just apply that to the apples of my cheeks like so. I'm now just going to take a big fluffy brush and get rid of the baking underneath my eyes as that's baked enough and the bit down my nose and I just blend in the bit underneath my contour as well like so. I feel like I'm chiselled out enough now. So I'm just going to go in underneath my eyes. I'm just going to use a really precise packer brush and just pack those colours underneath my eye, what goes up must come down, is what I always say and what I will always live by and that is the eye look complete. I am going to add some mascara and do some inner corner highlight but I'm going to do that in a few mementos. I like to do mascara as the last thing I ever do. So I'm going to set my face with the Pixie Glow Mist. Now what this is going to do is it's going to help my highlight to really pick up. I'm going to go in with the Becca Champagne Pop Highlight as I feel like that's the sort of highlight I want for today. And I'm just going to take this on a little highlight brush. this look wouldn't be complete without my lips so I'm going to go in with the NYX lip pencil in natural and just outline those lips I went off on a bit of a tangent I was supposed to be asking answering questions so I'm going to get another question up what is your favorite makeup product oh now this is difficult it's like asking me to pick my favorite child um at the minute i've probably got to say my p louise base just because i use this in every single look it is like the one thing i could not do my makeup as well without so i think it's probably got to be that i'm now gonna go in with a red lip because i feel like that is just what I fancy today. So I'm gonna go in with the YSL Tattoo Couture Matte Stain in number one, the iconic red. This is my favorite red, by the way, guys. If you could work for any makeup brand, what would it be? Okay, um, I would love to work for MAC or Morphe or Inglot. I definitely say makeup brand wise they are the ones that like stand out to me that I'd love to work for. I'd quite like to work for benefits skincare wise I'd love to work for either Clarins or Clinique or Lizelle. I feel like they're the ones that really catch my eye and that I would personally feel like I'd fit in quite well. Um, yeah I'm gonna pop on some mascara and then that is our look complete. And that is my makeup look complete. I hope you enjoyed this super sexy, sultry, smoky glam. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what videos you want me to film next. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!